Hi, everyone. My name is Howard Wormersley Smith. I'm a partner and the head of fintech and law firm Taylor Vinters. If we learn anything from the financial crisis, it's that we need to manage our money more carefully. In regions such as Africa, where cash is king, money management isn't just a poor credit rating, it's about survival. The unbanked and the underbanked represent 80% of the uh, population in some communities. Using a social media platform and a gamified approach, Walla provides a friendly entry point to financial services for these communities. My co-mentor and I, Mark Thomas, have had the privilege of working with Trisha and Samir to devise a solution that doesn't rely just on one bank or mobile telecoms, leveraging off our contacts at Standard Chartered Bank in Africa, where we both worked for over 10 years, we've already begun to challenge the regulatory regimes. If there is a holy grail in this thing called FinTech, it's about providing a banking solution that consumers actually want with a low barrier to entry. I believe Walla will achieve this. And so I give you Trisha and Walla. Thank you. I want to tell you a story about my friend Isaac. Isaac is an Uber driver that lives in Johannesburg. Today is his payday. And like every other payday, Isaac makes a long trek to the bank, waits in a queue for nearly half a day, all so that he can remove every last single penny from his account. Isaac repeats this process at the end of every month to avoid interacting with the bank and paying fees that add up to over 20% of his monthly income. The second he steps into a branch, he's charged a service fee, a withdrawal fee, a monthly maintenance fee, not to mention all the deposit and account balance fees. Now, just like the other 1.2 billion consumers, Isaac is underbanked, meaning he has a bank account or utilizes other financial services, yet he frequently removes himself from the system because it's cheaper and easier. This is the problem. Traditional banking models are forcing consumers out of the financial system due to their reliance on expensive legacy systems, unsustainable products, and outdated services. This model is broken and failing consumers like Isaac in emerging markets. It's time for a change. It's time for Walla. Walla is on a mission to bring a new community-powered digital bank to the underbanked, one driven by efficiency, price, experience, and trust. And unlike most other financial solutions, we are taking a consumer-driven approach to designing a new system. And it all starts with the Walla community. Six months ago, I set out to learn more about consumers like Isaac in emerging markets. And instead of collecting a few data points, something truly incredible happened. We virally grew a financial community from zero to one million members in just a few months. These one million Ugandans and South Africans are urban, college-educated young professionals who visit the community on a daily basis. They come to get financial advice, to engage with their peers, to participate in challenges. But most importantly, they're coming to tell us how the financial system is failing them. And guess what? Where it's costing banks throughout Africa over $150 to acquire one of these customers, our acquisition costs less than five cents. Walla is building the most efficient emerging market bank because we know these people better than anyone. Let me show you how. Once a user signs up for the Walla digital banking platform, our goal is to make them more aware of their financial well-being through daily advice, gamified savings, and personal financial management. But that's not all. Users can now sign up for the financial products that they need and manage them directly through the platform. From accounts to payments to insurance, we are bringing banking directly to our community. No longer does Isaac have to purposely remove himself from the system. With Walla, he gets the right products, the best support, and the experience he wants. 
Now, most of you are probably wondering, how the hell did you grow a community to a million members in just a few months? It's called trust. And the way you build trust is through compassion and empathy, which is something my career and poverty alleviation has taught me a lot about. From working in microfinance in sub-Saharan Africa to designing new financial innovations, my life has been dedicated to serving the underserved. I've teamed up with our chief of product, Sam Rasab, who knows how to build, mobilize, and monetize digital communities. Dennis Ramirez, our head of design, who knows how to create compelling and engaging front-end experiences. And our champions on the ground, like Emmy, who know how to spread the wall of word and drive us forward every day. Our team is badass. Yeah. And we've built something truly incredible together. We started with the community. We're now building the platform. And next, we will scale. Over the next 18 months, we will grow the Walla Financial Community to over 5 million members and start moving them through our digital banking platform. This problem, it's massive. But the opportunity is even greater. So join Walla and let's build the first emerging market bank that works. Thank you. Woo!